Welcome to this uh, portion of our service where uh, we're having a talk with Ted. Uh, Pastor Ted is a Christian counselor, has been for years, and uh, he is coming to help us to kind of work through some of the emotional things that can occur uh, during this national pandemic that we're experiencing. Welcome, Ted, to the service today, and thank you so much for being here with well, us. Thanks for the invite. I appreciate that very much. You've been in counseling for quite a few years and probably have dealt with <laughs> an array of emotions with people, right? right? Anxiety, depression, you know, you name it. And uh, so today, you know, I'm just thinking about this pandemic that we're working through and how people are isolated which could, I think, lead to even uh, emotions of depression. Is that true? That's could, very true. Yes. Could that be a possibility? Yes, that's right. And so maybe we could talk about, you know, what, what brings that on? Why, why do people get depressed during something like this? And then maybe give us some ideas about how to prevent, prevent that from happening. And even if it has already happened with some people, maybe some steps they could take to help them. Good. Yeah, I think the emotions that we feel are our emotions, and we cannot deny the emotions that we're, we, we're feeling. Right. And I, I think sometimes, even as Christians, we suppress that rather than get that out in the open and talk about it because we're afraid that we would be judged for not being spiritual. Yeah. But it's not a spiritual thing. Sometimes there's a, it, it, not totally a spiritual thing, I should say, sometimes there's a, a physiological area too that we need to look oh, at. Okay. And then when there's a physiological physiological area we need to maybe even see medical help to get that work done in our own hearts so own this lives. could actually cause a physiological response sure really or okay. there could be a physiological already there uh, and and you have not identified that yet i talked uh, to a pastor a number of years ago who said that he was suffering from depression and he was <coughs> he was on medication and doing very well with it mm -hmm. and still pastoring his church and doing okay. quite well with it. Okay. But I think part of it is uh, where where's our hope? Mm. If our hopes on the I think I mentioned this last week, uh, if our hopes on the political, uh, we're, we're going to fall. But if I if I find my hope in in the Lord and what God can do in my heart, and my life, that's that's a big step. Mm -hmm. I think knowledge kind of diffuses some of that anxiety and fear that we have and somehow we have to find a way to say okay what's the reality of what's going on now for me as a I pray as a believer mm -hmm. what's that look like for me and I think there's uh, depression in in many stages of life in in uh, Psalm 13 David cries out and says something along the line that uh, he cries out to God and and he he um, he he says how long O Lord will you forget me forever? Mm -hmm. How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take uh, counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? But at the end, he, he expresses this. So David expresses some of this depression too. But in the end, he says, I have trusted in your steadfast love. Mm -hmm. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. So sometimes the depression comes as we we major on the stuff that's going on around us rather than on on God's mm. word mm. and I think that's your first your first question there if I can stop yeah. and say okay God what's the next step in it in acknowledging that for myself <coughs> and then getting the help I need whether that be uh, from a doctor or many many times it's just spiritual help yeah. many times it's just uh, talking with somebody acknowledging to myself that I have an issue and I want to really express to, to those listening that uh, if you need to talk to somebody, Pastor Mark, myself are here and we're ready to talk anytime, either, either through uh, text or, or um, talking on the phone. I mean, that's a lost art these days, but mm -hmm. we, need to, we need to chat and talk yeah. together. We don't have to come in contact with each other yeah. physically. We can just chat on the phone and see what's uh, sure. happening there. Yeah. I hope that's... I hope that's yeah, so, so what you're saying is that... Um, God may not take us out of the trial, but in the trial, there are some things that we can be doing. I think Paul expresses that too, doesn't he? When he yeah. asks us for the thorn to be removed. Yeah. And he said, no, no, I'll give you grace through that. Mm. And sometimes that's the, mm -hmm. that's the step we need. Okay, so f your first uh, recommendation is to simply acknowledge, acknowledge that God is there, yes. that, that he's in control of it all. All right, let's say that I'm in the midst of depression 
and you know, really going through it. What, what are some steps that I can take to help myself beyond talking to somebody, some things I can do personally? I think, I think it's just taking a step back and getting into God's word and just acknowledging to God that I'm feeling down. I feel that, that there's no hope, like David expresses many mm-hmm. times in scripture. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I look at that illustration or that reality of uh, Elijah's life uh, yeah. in, in, in uh, 1 Kings chapter 19, I believe it is, mm-hmm. when he had a great victory on Mount Carmel. And God has, had done some great things to provide fire from heaven. And Jezebel came along and said, um, uh, you're next. If, if, if I don't take your life in the next yeah. day, you're, you're, you're next. Uh-huh. And it said he was afraid. Mm-hmm. And he ran for his life. Yeah. And he sat under a broom tree and he, he cried out to God, just take my life. It's kind mm-hmm. of interesting. Jezebel was ready to do that for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't have to ask God to no. do that. No. But, but what God's remedy there was uh, food. Uh, we've talked about that last week, food mm. and, and uh, rest and, and for a period of time just meditating on what the Lord, mm. he was in the wilderness for 40 days. Yeah. And then when he came back, he still had that sense of uh, poor me, poor me, but God said, now get back to where you should be. And I think mm. even in the privacy of our own little apartment or home, we can find ourselves feeling all alone. We're not alone. Number one, you've got your church, right. you've got your uh, people in your church. And, and you also have um, the Lord to cry out to and say, Lord, mm-hmm. guide and direct in my heart right now that I might know your perfect will in all these things that are going on around me. And I would also suggest to you, you can be of help to somebody else by making that phone call, uh, just, just calling people. I had a response this week from somebody who said, you know, that phone call you made to me was, uh, it helped me. Mm-hmm. And I think that's important too, that mm-hmm. we can be the church. We're this building is not the church. Yeah. Uh, we are the church and we can be the church by reaching out to people mm-hmm. around us and just saying, you know, something, uh, just want to pray with you. I just want to encourage mm-hmm. you right now to, to, to live your life as pleasing to the Lord. Yeah, I think that's an important step that you've just mentioned. Uh, number one, seeking the Lord, meditating on him. Maybe mem- start memorizing some scripture that would right. help you. But then the last point I think is so important is that we don't have to just sit in our houses and our offices and our basements and play video games, you know, and get depressed. But we can actually do something right now. There are people all around us maybe feeling the same way we're feeling. Hey, give them a call and uh, have a chat on the phone. That, I think that really lifts people up. Just talk to somebody, right? I had a couple in the church that said this week to me that they're going to take some uh, cans of soup and drop them off mm. at some of our seniors' doors and just uh, unannounced. And yeah. if you've got yeah. a can of soup at your door, <laughs> that's mm. somebody from the church just trying to help you and just yeah. showing Christ's love. So in serving, it takes us out of ourselves, and, and now we're not focusing on ourselves so much. Focusing on somebody else can really help us in our emotions, can it? That's right. Yeah. yeah, and and so and so with Elijah, uh, eventually, what did God say to him? Get back to where you, where <laughs> yeah. you should be, you know. Yeah. And there is a, there is a point there too that I missed that the there, he, God was talking out with him. Yeah. God was letting him express his feelings, yeah. and and he didn't put him down for his feelings. He just said, okay, <laughs> let's let's work with that, and let's and, and now get back to where I called you. Don't yeah. don't be sitting here <laughs> under this uh, tree feeling yeah. sorry for yourself. It's time mm-hmm. to get back to where God where you right. where I want you to be. Yeah, start doing something. Some, start doing something. Keep yourself busy, and that yeah. that yeah. might be uh, in your apartment. If if you're stuck in an apartment by yourself, that might be just uh, uh, reading some. Th- something or just encouraging your heart by what God is doing in your heart. Be mm-hmm. thankful. Mm-hmm. Again, we talked about that last week uh, in everything with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Be thankful mm-hmm. for where you are. Mm-hmm. And your hope is not on on this uh, virus. Your hope is in the Lord. Amen. And I want to I want to really stress that my hope is in the Lord who gave himself Amen. for me Amen. and paid the price in, and of all of my sin in Calvary. And I think that's mm-hmm. important for me to mm-hmm. To, for me to dwell on too. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Ted, for being with us today again. And these are very helpful steps that we can take. We hope that you will take those steps uh, as we go through this together. God bless.